It's campaign season for the 2024 U.S. presidential election, and the candidates are painting pictures of joy and fear. So Arizona, Arizona, bring that joy with you, bring those smiles, bring that positive future as you join me. is not just a fight against Donald Trump. Our campaign, this campaign, is a fight for the future. We've got to throw Kamala Harris out of office, not give her a promotion. We have a lot of bad things coming up. You could end up in a depression of the 1929 variety, which would be a devastating thing. Team Democrats, led by Vice President Kamala Harris and her running mate Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, are pushing joy. They're asking citizens to vote for a future where they retain hard-fought freedoms. The freedom to vote, the freedom to be safe from gun violence, the freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. and the freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government telling her what to do. We are not going back. The rally cry of her campaign is, we're not going back. Contrast this with Trump's campaign to make America great again. The billionaire argues that leftist liberals have eroded the values that made the U.S. a great country and a superpower. But we're going to get it back bigger, better, stronger than ever before. Republicans argue that their candidate is reflecting the sour mood of the country. The campaign leans into fear, with Trump warning voters they would not have a country anymore if he's not back in power. Republican side, it's a little more negative. It's more making it more personal and just like the attacks seem to be a negative thing. I don't think that's a, a good course for them. Um, I think Kamala Harris and her VP pick are, are much more hopeful and positive for everybody. I think Trump's campaign displays a lot of strength and unity and hope for the future, whereas I think, I think Kamala Harris's campaign is more, it's all over the place, so I think. And then just looking at the state of the country now, I don't think Kamala Harris's campaign is one of joy and hope. I think that's Trump's campaign. But for the most part, I feel like Kamala is going on the approach of, let me just tell you what I've done and what I plan on doing versus Trump. He's on the slander. That's it. That's all. He's, he's not talking about what his plans are. Everyone understands that we need to be here to support Trump because he has never let us in. You know, they fired him and he's, he just keeps on, they shoot at him and he still keeps firing back.